Hey, what is going on guys and welcome back to another Dauntless video. Sorry for the little hiatus on videos, but if you guys follow this channel, I did post an update trying to let you guys know where I've been. Basically, I was taking an intensive calculus course during the summer, so I didn't really have a whole lot of time to make videos. But now that's done, and so here are the videos. Today I'm bringing you guys the best hammers for each element, as well as the best build for each one of them. I did one of these videos in the past for swords, so if you guys are interested in that, then I'll leave a card on screen. But anyways, before we get into the actual weapons and everything, I want to make it clear what exactly it is that we're looking for in a hammer build. The perks we cannot do without are once again etheric attunement and conduit, but even more so are cunning and overpower. They recently changed cunning so that at plus six it gives 10% crit chance, but crits do 30% more damage. Since hammer pumps out such huge numbers each hit, it is imperative that we try to make as many of those hits crits. And since hammer does so much stagger damage, I am prioritizing cunning and overpower over everything else. Etheric attunement and conduit work in tandem with each other perfectly, but if we have to sacrifice one or the other, two, I will, and I will sacrifice in favor of Conduit because attack speed is super beneficial on Hammer. And another thing, the mods I'm always going to recommend is going to be Extended Clip, and the special I'm going to recommend 9 times out of 10 is going to be Nighty Landbreaker. The only time I'll say you could opt for Concussive Salvo is versus Behemoths that can be booped easily or constantly, like Shrike, Embermane, or Riftstalker. And the Lantern I'm always going to use is going to be the Drask's Eye Lantern, because in my opinion, it is the best option for pure DPS. With all that out of the way, let's get started. First up, neutral damage. For this one, we're going to be using the Rage Tail Hammer, the Raging Crash. We chose this one because it has plus three Rage Hunter innately, as well as decent cell slots. For this, we're going to be using the Reza Helm and Chest, the Rage Tail Gloves, and the Koshai Boots, which will net you plus six Etheric Attunement, Conduit, Cunning, Overpower, Rage Hunter, and three levels of Predator, and then you have a spare utility slot in the actual weapon that you can fill with whatever you want. I recommend Stunning Vigor for some on-the-go heals every now and then. Overall, this nets us all the damage perks we could ask for, with three spare levels of Predator as the cherry on top. Next up is Blaze. To no one's surprise, this is going to be using the Hellion Hammer. I featured this build multiple times on this channel, and it has withstood the test of time. For this, we're going to be using the Hellion Helmet, the Reza Chest and Gloves, and the Koshai Boots, which nets you plus six Etheric Attunement, Conduit, Cunning, Overpower, Predator, and Rage Hunter. Literally every single perk you could want. There's not much else to say here, just get this and try it out for yourself if you haven't already. Next up, we have Frost. For this, we're going to be using the Pangar Hammer. We chose this one because it comes with plus three Knockout King, and it has a Power Cell slot. For this, we're going to be using the Hellion Helm, the Reza Chest Piece, the Nasher Gloves, and Boots, which gives you plus six Conduit, Cunning, Knockout King, Overpower, Rage Hunter, and Tough as an added bonus. Unfortunately for this, we can't fit in Etheric Attunement, but since you still have Conduit, you will still get the attack speed, just not as often. What you will get more often, though, is procs of Overpower, thanks to plus six Knockout King. Since Hammer is kind of slow, you oftentimes do like hit and run style movements where you get a poke in or two, so if you manage to dodge through some attacks during that, you'll actually get that passive from plus six knockout king, which doubles your stagger damage on an attack after a dodge, which can build up pretty damn fast, leaving you with a bunch more staggers per hunt, therefore proccing overpower a bunch more times, therefore killing it a lot faster. Now moving on to shock, for this one we're going to be using the Drask Hammer. This thing is amazing. It has plus three etheric attunement, amazing cell slots, and a passive that makes it deal 30% more damage to behemoth heads. Yes, this is a hammer that just flat out does 30% more damage to behemoth heads. Enough said. For this, we're going to be using the Hellion Helmet, the Reza Chest Piece, the Nasher Gloves, and the Koshai Boots, which gives you plus six Etheric Attunement, Conduit, Cunning, Overpower, and Rage Hunter, as well as three bonus spare levels of Predator. You also have a spare defense slot in the actual weapon, so feel free to use whatever you want here. This hammer is actually really, really good, and I highly recommend it. Next, we have Terra, and for Terra, we actually have two options that I think are equally viable. First up, we have a build using the Koshai Hammer. For this, we'll once again be using the Hellion Helm, the Reza Chest, the Nasher Gloves, and the Koshai Boots, which gives us plus six Etheric Attunement, Conduit, Cunning, Overpower, and Rage Hunter, as well as three spare levels of Predator, and plus three Sharpen from the actual weapon. For the other set, we have the Skarn Hammer, and for this one, we're going to be using the Drask Helmet, the Reza Chest Piece, the Nasher Gloves, and the Boreas Boots, which gives you plus six Conduit, Cunning, Iceborne, Overpower, Rage Hunter, and three levels of Etheric Attunement and Knockout King. I think the Koshai build is best suited for just general play, since it is a bit more focused on DPS. The plus three Sharpen will help with breaks, which will proc Overpower, and lead into some nasty chain combos. But the plus six Iceborne, combined with the shield from the Skarn Weapon passive, makes you 
pretty dang tanky, and the Knockout King will help in staggering monsters for you and your squad, so I think there's merit to both, but Skarn is definitely going to be more useful for Heroic Plus type content. Moving on, we have Umbral. For this, we're going to be using the Riftstalker Hammer, because the orb passive is hella nutty on Hammer, and it has really good cell slots. For this, we're going to be using the Hellion Helm, the Drask chest piece, the Nasher Gloves, and the Koshai Boots. This gives us plus 6 Etheric Attunement, Conduit, Cunning, Overpower, Rage Hunter, and 3 levels of Predator, as well as Wild Frenzy, but we don't really care about those too much. Once you have a few orbs, which will not be very hard for Hammer to do, this thing starts dealing some deeps. Combine that with enhanced crits, and you have a recipe for a dead behemoth. This is a hammer I have been using for a very, very long time, even before the rework to hammer with the Ether Slam and everything, and I have always really liked it, so I highly recommend it. And now, finally, we have Radiant. For this one, we're going to be using the Valamir Hammer, which might surprise some of you, but it is for good reason. This thing is really, really good. It has plus three Ether Hunter, and since Riftstalker and Shroud, the only two Umbral Behemoths in the game, Game, love to be either charged all the friggin time you actually get a lot of mileage off of either hunter that on top of this thing having really good cell slots and a passive that deals 550 bonus radiant damage every now and then it's a complete package for the armor we're going to be using the hellion helm the Rezakiri chest piece the nasher gloves and the valamir boots this gives us plus six either hunter etheric attunement conduit cunning overpower and rage hunter that's right you get maxed out either Hunter, Overpower, Rage Hunter, and Cunning. That equates to big fat damage. Well guys, those are my picks for the best hammers in each element. If you guys enjoyed this video or at least found it useful or entertaining, be sure to drop a like because it really does help me out. I would like to thank my patrons for their continued support and I would like to thank all of you guys for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Take care.